Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily swap car wheels in After Effects using 3D wheel models, let's begin. To download free 3D models, we can go to Sketchfab and search for some free rims. I think this one looks good, so let's download it. Scroll down to download 3D model and click on it. Make sure to download the GLB format and once the download is complete, drag the 3D model into your After Effects project. I've created a folder for 3D models just to stay organized. Now that we have found a rim we want to swap to, we can move on to the next steps. First we'll need to mask out the real wheel from the video, and then we will track that wheel too. First let's rename this layer to tracker. Then duplicate it and toggle off the bottom tracker layer. Rename the duplicated layer to mask slash swap to stay organized and easily find your layers. Now we need to mask out the wheel. For masking, I'll be using Mocha AE. In Mocha, select the Ellipse tool and create a smooth mask around the wheel. Once you're done, enable Perspective and click the Track Forward button, then just wait for the tracking to finish. Once it's done, click Save, then close Mocha AE. Now under a Mocha AE, expand Matte and click on Create AE Masks to apply the mask to the video. Let's press M on a keyboard now and make sure to change Mask Mode to Subtract. And the first step is ready. We have a clean car with no rim on it and now we have to 3D track the video. Toggle on Tracker Layer and toggle off Mask Layer for a while. With the Tracker Layer selected, Go to the Tracker panel and click on Track Camera. For better results, expand the Advanced and enable Detailed Analysis, then just wait for it to finish analyzing. Once the analysis is done, create a new solid and a camera on the wheel. Now we can drag and drop the 3D wheel model we downloaded. In the popped out window, click on Make Comp Size and then hit OK. To make sure the wheel is tracked perfectly, select the Track Solid layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Then copy the position and paste it onto the 3D wheel model. All that's left now is to scale, rotate, and reposition the model until it fits the car perfectly. But first toggle off the Track Solid layer since we don't need to see it. Also toggle off the Tracker layer and toggle on the Mask Slash Swap layer. Then move the Mask Slash Swap layer above the 3D wheel model. Now select the 3D wheel layer and adjust its position, scale, and rotation. Once we're done, let's check it out. That looks awesome, but if you look closely, we still need to fix a few things here. I'll slightly adjust the rotation and then check it again. Now it's fixed and everything looks just perfect. So now, in case you want to color grade the wheel just to match the colors, you won't be able to apply Lumetri color or any other effect directly to the 3D model. But don't worry, I'll show you a quick tip on how to apply effects to 3D models. Right click on the 3D wheel model, go to create, and select create 3D layer instance. This will create a new layer and automatically toggle off your original 3D model, make sure to keep the original layer turned off. Now drag the new instance layer below the mask slash swap layer, apply a Lumetri color effect to it, and color grade the wheel to match the scene. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.